Howdy, what's up guys? It's Kale Brock here. I'm a surfer and a filmmaker and you're watching How to Rip. In this series, I'm going to be sharing some insights into my coaching experience and what I've learned taking beginner surfers through to intermediate and intermediate surfers to high level intermediate and even advanced. This is essentially a glimpse into my Patreon membership group where people get access to two of these surf analysis clips every single week. So make sure you check it out in the link in the description below. You can also join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli, but for now, let's jump into the surfing. Yo. Cool, so a couple of good little opportunities here, um, and that's, I think, something that improved really quickly over the weekend is that stuff there. So the bottom part of that actually looked pretty good. I mean, you could always get a little bit lower, but, you know, with a small wave, it can be a little bit hard. But from that perspective, things are looking pretty nice. You know, maybe the surfer on the left is looking a little bit higher and closer to the white water so that, you know, they're going to have to go a little bit more vertical. Maybe you're looking a little bit further down the line. Um, but it's that where we see the big change occur. You're sort of allowing your arm to fold across. Uh, before it opens up and punches across. You know, that would be ideal. Um, you, so you can sort of see what happens there is that the surfer on the left opens up that arm to the lip, the armpit goes above the lip, and then they punch down and the shoulders really square off quite dramatically. And that's the difference between, um, I guess, landing a turn, throwing spray, um, and, you know, really uh, a turn feeling good as well. So that's definitely something to work on moving forward. Cool. So we start off with the back end. We saw you find some of those rights and I think you sort of found your rhythm a little bit more. Um, you know, these movements here are all looking pretty good, especially the bottom turn on that one. Um, shame the wave didn't really cooperate. This one here was quite nice, you know. Uh, it's still still sort of undercooked in a way in, in that you may be move through 10, 15% of the range that you could have. Um, but, you know, from this perspective, it's looking pretty good. I would have liked to have seen you get a little bit lower again. Um, I think that's going to drive you higher on the wave um, if you can get lower because it's going to help you open up like that into the section. Notice how the armpit is exposed to the lip of the surfer over here on the right, um, nice and high on the wave, and that's where they start the turn, and that's where they get all that spray. We talked about spray with you. The only way you're going to throw spray off the back of the wave is if you're up at the top of the wave doing your maneuvers up there. So I think, um, you know, that was a really great start to see, and it ended up being, you know, nice and safe. Ideally, I want to see you start to radicalize that a little bit more and, and, and risk it a little bit. <clears throat> On the Smooth Star, looking really good. So keep doing that. Oh, you're, at, you're on the other one. Definitely get a Smooth Star if you can. Um, overall, though, I'm watching all that, and I'm watching, you know, that's looking fantastic. You're looking and pointing to where you want to go. The arm came through at the right time. Timing was looking pretty good. Um, you know, I think you'll, you'll start to see some pretty rapid progression in that respect. Um, again, a touch lower. A touch lower with both arms, at least, and, and that's going to be able to drive you high into a more vertical turn. But again, the timing's there. I can see the instincts there kicking in. It's working pretty well. Cool, so let's look at the back end. <clears throat> this is some pretty classic stuff that I see. Uh, I'd love to work on this in the pool with you, so I'm looking forward to the Urban Surf Retreat. Main thing is here, I want you to be nice and low at the bottom. Your right arm's looking pretty good there. Left arm is a little bit inactive, but I want to see you really get into the bottom turn. So let's fast forward and see where that bottom turn is. Also notice the back leg here. See that constant um, issue of the back leg? Interesting. So here's the missing component of your backside maneuver. The left arm doesn't go up before down rotating. Rotating down, sorry. So see how there's that punch down? That's only possible by opening up the arm first. See how you just sort of made it like a lower body turn? Again, <clears throat> we can improve that by opening up the left arm first. So see, armpit goes above the lip, then there's the punch down, and that's how you'll really get an exclamation mark on your maneuver. So it's arm above, then rotate, then kick out with the back leg, and that's when you'll get a lot more speed, a lot more spray, and it'll just feel a lot easier for you to do. <clears throat> so compress at the bottom, armpit over the lip, punch down. Armpit over the lip, punch down and then you can just go through repetitions again and again the whole wave and you'll feel really nice doing it <laughs> cool so that was you just sort of making sense of it all putting it together uh you found a couple i think this one's a little bit better see how early that bottom turn was you never really went to the bottom of the face 
uh, and that way you could have actually gone a little bit more vertical. I'm still happy with that, but I think it could have been even better by some uh, deeper bottom turns and then uh, a more uh, exaggerated punch down. So we can see the difference there. Uh, you're not low at all. You're not sinking into your heels. Your board's quite flat there, and that's, I think, because you're high on the wave. I think you instinctively know, like, if I get low and drive too much, I'm going to drive myself off the back of the wave. Whereas if we actually start at the bottom <clears throat> and, you know, stay low until that last little extension, get the armpit above the lip, then punch down. Instead of your downward rotation without the punch, uh, you'll just find it's a lot easier to do that manoeuvre than the way you uh, did it without the arms really being involved. Cool, that was better. Uh, but see how you're very tall in that. And it looks like the back <clears throat> the back leg is doing all the work again. So again, imagine 100 kilos on your shoulders. You stand in that strong position. That's the bottom turn. Cheers, brother. Nice little drop there. Um, I can't wait to have you along to Urban in May. Great to meet you. And I will chat to you soon. Here are the rest of your rides from the weekend. Cool. Okay, let's have a look at the back end. So a couple of things here. I really like your bottom turn. Actually, I don't mind that turn at all, um, but I think we can make it even better. So what I want to see from you is that continuing with the flipped front palm, uh, but then this part here, the downwards rotation is what needs work. So if we have a look at them side by side, um, this part here looks relatively good. The only thing I'd want to do is pull that right arm of yours. Instead of it being across the body, I want it to be a counterweight, sort of hanging over your board a little bit more, just to stop you rolling down. And if we have a look at Marty here, look at his arm go up, uh-oh, and then he adjusts it to keep it low so that he can drive up into that turn instead of sort of topple over back beside him. So, um, yeah, nice work on that one. We can definitely improve it a little bit, but it's this part here that's a little bit confused. So see how the arms are quite straight there, and they sort of pull the trigger a little bit early on the downward rotation. We want to sort of allow your body to come up high with the left arm leading and then come into this like downward sort of square rotation. It's almost like you punching through the left arm back down the wave to drive that reverse shoulder rotation, which will push into the, um, the board and then displace a lot of water. So... A little bit to work on there. We can work on that with the smooth star. Um, repetition is, you know, your best friend when it comes to that sort of turn. Um, and and we can definitely work on that next session. Um, so yeah, so some some good some good homework points um, and some really nice progression in one session. Uh, I really like where you're at. A lot of energy on the wave. Um, and yeah, positioning is really good. Pop up, nothing wrong. Speed generation, pretty good. Thanks so much for watching. If that video helped you, be sure to drop a line in the comments down below. What else are you struggling with with your surfing? Make sure you check out the links in the description as well to my Patreon account, my Instagram, and my YouTube channel, all of which have some incredible surfing resources for you too. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.